Hi everyone. Welcome to Cheesy Code. We have seen many people struggling with the concept of abstraction and encapsulation. So this is our take on this to help you understand it well. So what is abstraction? Abstraction is ignoring those aspects of an object that are not relevant to the current scope of the problem. It reduces scope and helps managing complexity. So let's take an example to make it more clear. You are designing a website to sell new cars and obviously you have a class name car. For this you need to decide upon the attributes required to represent the object. You will have something like description, type, price and some other fields. In the current scope you are selling a new car. Do I need to add the service history of the car in this as a field? No. I don't need that. I am just selling a new car and Having the service history as a field is the property of the used car. So I do not include that. Do I need to have a vehicle registration number as a field? No. Currently I do not have and it's not related to the current scope. So abstraction is exclude which is not relevant to the current scope. We focus only on the relevant details related to the scope of our problem. And for our current problem we are selling new cars. So we include only those features which are relevant to it. So thus reducing the scope and therefore reducing the complexity. So this is what abstraction is. Let's continue our discussion on encapsulation. Encapsulation has two aspects. One provide interface to access the functionality of the object and hides how it is implemented. Other name for it is information hiding. Second one is the keep the attributes and behavior as one unit. It helps to make the module more independent. So let's take an example for this. So here you can see the keyboard and a laptop. So I have this keyboard object in front of me. I know when I press A, it will print A on the screen. I don't know how it is implemented. I have this interface of keys exposed to me, but its implementation is hidden. This is where encapsulation is. So what's the benefit of encapsulation? I can change its implementation later if I find a better solution or just for maintenance or to tweak a functionality. But interface will remain same. So any change can be implemented easily. Now for the second part to keep the attributes and behavior as one unit. In our keyboard for a normal user it does not matter which code is sent as a signal to computer when you press a key. So suppose you press A. As a programmer you know A has a 65 ASCII value but for a normal user it does not matter. So keyboard object has this data as private and only methods have access to it. Thus we are encapsulating data and method as one unit. So to conclude in abstraction we are trying to come up with the scope of the problem. In encapsulation, we are trying to come up with the approach to solve and implement the problem in a better way. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel.